The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Rude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Tim C. Smith here with this week's video fishing forecast, and spring fishing is finally taking hold with plenty of options for the upcoming weekend. Striped bass, fluke, porgies, weak fish, cod, flounder, and yes, bluefish finally are all on the menu. Oh, and there's no shortage of sea robins either for those looking to score some dream boat challenge points. After slumping a bit, the striped bass fishing in New York bite was back in high gear in the early week. With fish from schoolies to 35 pounds taking trolled mojos, live and chunked bunker, clams, and diamond jigs. Captain Bob on the Brooklyn-based Lady Flamingo reported a great day jigging on Tuesday with lots of bass ranging from shorts to the upper 20 pound class. Lots of stripers also being reported in the bays and inlets of the South Shore for boats and surf casters with some better quality fish mixing among lots of small stripers. Captain Bob of the Freeport charter boat Sea Rogue has been seeing excellent light tackle action with 30 to 40 bass per trip in the western bays. Most are shorts, but there are enough keepers on every trip to keep everybody happy. I myself had a chance to do a little scouting in my backyard, which is in the western Great South Bay. Earlier in the week, I heard there was some good action in the State Boat Channel with flukes, schoolie stripers, and some weak fish. My observation was lots of bird life, but the fishing was slow. Still some party boats were work in the area. I also had some confirmed reports of fluke around the Copeg Hole. Captain Joey Legio was out with his son Frankie earlier in the week fishing the western bays and scored with some nice fluke and weak fish. Now let's get the latest from Captain Joey. Well hey Tim, we're out today, we're doing an episode for ChasingTailTV.com, fishing the back bays. Again, Deb's Inlet still not much to be had there, but fishing the back bays today is not so bad. The elusive bluefish was found today as you can see, we got some real nice choppers today, probably I guess pushing the 10 pound mark. Big bass of the day was this guy, probably pushing a 20. <clears throat> but overall, the same thing, it's the same story. West is where it's at. So hopefully soon these fish will make their way down the beach and come to us. But everybody that's trying, it's the same story. Not much to be had. My buddy Ralph was out trolling the other day. He told me he trolled for about two hours. Not a single touch on the spoons and the mojo combos. So again, same thing. I don't know. I'm hopefully gonna get here soon, Tim, but I'll let you know what happens. After receiving his report, the fishing broke wide open and Joey sent me these photos. Here's Evan Padua with a 14 pound chopper caught on a fly and David Brody with a 22 pound bass all caught in the back bays of East Rockaway. Bass action remains solid in the Western Sound where bass to 30 pounds are being trolled and chunked near the Throgs Neck Bridge. Lots of smaller fish to 32 inches are coming from the Western harbors and sound, but the action is beginning to spread to the east. Now let's get a Central North Shore report from Hawaiian Dave. Thanks, Tim. Well, you can't say I haven't tried really hard. I've been all over the Central North Shore and I can't find a thing. Nothing even shown on the fish finder. Water's still in the 40s and we've had a couple cool days to set us back. I did run into a commercial fisherman friend of mine and he said the quotas are low for him this year, but in another month we'll have more fish than we can handle. So I guess we'll just have to keep trying. Surf casters got into some good fishing in the week. Places like Jamaica Bay, Jones Inlet, the Sore Thumb, Demo, and Smith's Point Bridge. Again, most of the fish are small, but there are some fish to 15 pounds, and we did hear of a 30 pounder coming from Demo and a 45 pounder from Staten Island. It's been a good start to the fluke season with shorts dominating the action, but good numbers of keepers, including some quality fish, mixing into most catches from Jamaica Bay to Peconic Bay. Captain Ken on the Captree Pride said John and Bill Rosati had over 20 fluke on Monday's trip, four were keepers. Captain Steve on the Superhawk at a point lookout said fluke action in the bay with light tackle will give the advantage and had fish to seven pounds this week. The Peconic Bay Porgy Run really heated up this past weekend and carried into the week. Captain John on the Shinnecock Star reported very good action with the best fish of the week, a 4.12 pounder decked by Steve Mahoney. John noted some nice sized fluke are also being caught in the area and the Celtic Quest Fleet has one of its boats in Jamesport fishing the Peconics taking advantage of the excellent Porgy action. The boat will move to its home port in Port Jefferson later this month. The other boat is now berthed in Mattituck and is targeting the North Fork fluke run. And yes, 
The bluefish have finally made their way into our waters. We've had reports of blues showing up from the New York Bight to Mauritius in recent days. Jose at Saltwater's Tackle knew of blues to five pounds being caught by surf casters in Fire Island Inlet Wednesday morning. Martin at Smith Point Bait and Tackle reported a good run of big blues to 12 pounds and better on the backside of Smith's Point and Finns on Tuesday. By the weekend, they're likely to be a fixture all around the island. With all the good fishing going on, it's a great opportunity to score some points in the Fisherman's Dream Boat Challenge. Let's go to Fisherman Senior Editor Fred Galifaro for more details. Uh, yes, Tim, the Dream Boat Challenge is off and running. It kicked off May 1st and it'll run through November 30th. Uh, and at stake is a Steigercraft 23 DV Miami with a 250 Avenue e tech mounted on it, uh, outfitted with Lorance Electronics and a lot more. Second grand prize, a three night stay at Zancudo Lodge in Costa Rica, great place to stay. That includes fishing, of course, and all your meals. But you must be a subscriber to be involved. Now, don't wait. Now's the time to start racking up points. We've got some really good fishing going on and some better quality fish. Uh, we've included sea robins this year to help uh, level the playing field, give everybody a shot at uh, racking up some points. It's a species everyone can catch. And uh, as a matter of fact, sea robins are leading the entries uh, so far this, this year. Uh, now it's also a great time to take advantage of the jumbo porgy action going on in uh, places like Peconic Bay, protected waters that are easily accessible to small boat guys. Um, you can also hop on a party boat and uh, get some of those big porgies to weigh in. Uh, spring run of blues, uh, the last two years we've seen some big bluefish, you know, well into the teens. Uh, being caught not just in boats but in the surf also so you have an opportunity to rack up some bluefish points uh, we're also hearing some good sized weak fish again this year and they've been you know some years they show up some years they don't it looks like this season there's a fair number of fish and we're seeing them up to seven and eight pounds uh, and they will qualify for the uh, for the contest uh, may is also uh, a great time to uh, score some fluke points we got an early start to the fluke season this year and we're already hearing of some quality fish, fish up to 11 and 12 pounds. So uh, that's a good opportunity there also. Um, now, in order to qualify for, um, for the Dream Boat Challenge, the fish do have to meet minimum weight. So in the case of bluefish, it's 15 pounds, fluke is seven, uh, scup is two, weak fish five, sea robins two, and sea bass will be coming into the picture probably next month. We'll probably have a season opening sometime in June and sea bass have to be uh, four pounds. But whatever you do, uh, try to get out there. You know, this is the time uh, to get some quick points, get yourself on the board. Uh, this month and next will provide plenty of good opportunities. Uh, for how you can subscribe and become eligible for the contest, uh, you can get all the dream boat details, complete rules, all that. Uh, simply go to thefisherman.com. Thanks for that, Fred. And before heading out to look for that Dream Boat winner, make sure you have your free saltwater registry or you will be ticketed. Go to dec.ny.gov or call 866-933-2257 during regular business hours. And check this out. This sea robin was weighed in in New Jersey for the Dream Boat Contest and tipped the scale at 2.6 pounds. Finally, these fish get the respect they deserve and no longer are considered a nuisance and can be your ticket to a new Steiger craft, but you need to be a subscriber to the fishermen. And by the way, they're good eating too. Check this video out. Click on the icon in the top right to watch the video on how to clean a sea robin. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube page, and be a subscriber to The Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. Till next week, this is Tim C. Smith for TheFisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in The Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at TheFisherman.com.